Hey guys, what's going on? So today I have a buddy, it's me. I'm here on the lake, as you can see in the background. The water is definitely bright and beautiful behind us. It is a warm 32 degrees outside right now. <laughs> I have Todd on camera, like always, and he is freezing his butt off. You wanna take a look at the old Todd? Nice <laughs> So anyway, Todd proposed a question to me and I said, you know what, I have got to answer this question. He wanted to know, how do you catch catfish on jug lines? So today, I'm gonna show you a couple different ways to make jugs to go jugging for catfish. Yeah, and this video is gonna be all about making the jugs and then the next video will be all about using the jugs. What I have with me today is a couple different variations, a couple different options for you. Number one is the store-bought option. Okay, listen, if you're balling on a budget, this is not the answer. <laughs> This is literally a pool noodle, right? With a piece of plastic through it. This retails at our store, our big box store, for $9.97 a piece. Dude, nine bucks for a piece of pool noodle. So, of course, I bought two of them. <laughs> Option two is you can go across the store and you can go to the uh, beverage aisle and get you a, a, a one gallon bottle of your favorite beverage, um, AKA water, for the record breaking price of one dollar. <laughs> so option two is jugs that are a gallon. Um, and then ironically, I got home and my wife had just thrown away a uh, cleaning bottle, fabuloso. If you've ever cleaned the house, you know what this stuff, or if you were ever in the army. <laughs> it's the smell of the army, I'm telling you. Anyway, so I got a jug of fabuloso here as well. Um, for hooks, I'm not gonna lie, I went to the catfish section in, in the big box store. I think I went to Academy for these. We're using six aught circle hooks. That's what they look like. They're made by Eagle Claw. They're laser sharp, right? So we're gonna use those. And the good thing with the circle hook is, these are gonna be free floating baits. So when a fish gets it, that hook kind of, it kind of wraps into their mouth. And when they try to throw it or get it off, it digs in. Uh, it gets, you know, set for us basically. And then I got some weights. These, I don't know if these are heavy enough. We might go two, two weights per line. But I have some uh, some old, just, you know, some regular brass bullet weights that are, not brass, I'm sorry, lead bullet weights uh, that we're gonna try out. And then for line, we have the Team Catfish cord. I've never used like a cord or a rope before. I've always used line. And then I have the uh, Trialene 50 pound test mono for the other two. So those are two options for the cord. And then we wanna go head to head. We're gonna try a couple different baits. So the first one we're gonna try is the actual catfish bait that you can also get at literally any big box store. And this is chicken liver and chicken blood. So I was gonna use chicken livers, but I saw they had a chicken liver flavor. So I was like, ah, we'll just do chicken liver catfish. Mm. Then I have uh, some bait fish, some just straight up, almost like cut bait, but it's not cut. It's the actual whole thing. <laughs> so we're gonna use some of that. Um, and then my secret sauce, my secret weapon, the one that everyone knows is gonna win, wieners! <laughs> Oscar Mayer hot dogs. Usually I do the best with the hot dogs, but we're gonna do a little head-to-head -head channel. Again, that'll be on the next video, but we're gonna do a head-to-head -head video on these to see which one does better. So without further ado, let's start making the actual jug line that we're gonna use. So this is just a method, not the method, but a method to rigging jugs. So as I told you, we have string and we have Oh, shoot, fishing Thanks line, fish. right? So we actually, I have two of every jug jug type. So I have two of these noodles, two of these bottles, yada, yada, yada. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go head to head comparison. I'm gonna put one with the string and I'm gonna put one with the cord. So this is again, how I do it, all right? So first thing you do is get you a length of cord. I usually go three or four feet or just stretch your arms out real big <laughs> and then grab a little bit more, all right? So. That's step one. Get you a piece of string that you want to use, like that. Bada bing, bada boom, okay? Now, you're gonna have to tie that to your jug line, right? So use any any knot that you prefer. It doesn't matter. You can use whatever knot you want to use. Now, I like to dream big, and I think we're gonna catch like a 15 pound, or a 50, a 50 pound catfish. That's my goal. <laughs> so I'm gonna make a knot. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't know the knot, knot's name, but I use it for all of my fishing line, and it usually works pretty good. So I can already tell you the first thing I don't like about this, this cord is it's i didn't think about this till right now is the ends are fraying really bad i don't like that but that's okay that's tied on there now yeah 
it snaps off. <laughs> so that's tied on there real good. So again, I have this length of cord that goes off the other end. What you can do, I'll show you this method. What I'll do is I'll actually make leader lines to go off of it. So then you're gonna take little two foot pieces, right? And you don't have to do it this way. You can just put the hooks on the line if you want to. This is again, just a way that I've found that I like to do it. We got crickets in here. <laughs> Um, and then you're gonna take the same thing um, and put these on here. Now, I have this long string. So, you know, this first half is gonna be up in the water. You're gonna wanna keep your leaders kind of on the second half to catch fish on. So again, just gonna tie a knot on here, whatever knot you think is best for you, what you got going on. And for all of you avid catfishers out there, no, I don't do this for a living. And you're probably gonna say, dang bro, stick to crappie fishing. You don't know what you're doing. But you know what? I'm out here trying and that's all that I care about. Okay, so put this through here and I'm gonna go probably, I don't know, like right there's probably good. Cinch that down and that joker ain't going nowhere. And then I'll cut off a piece down here about mm, a foot long, like I said, like that. And guess what goes on there, Todd? <laughs> a hook. Again, this is just one way to do it. Now that should not go anywhere. I'm gonna leave a little bit off of it just so we can have a tail. So what you have then, oh, let me trim this other one. So then what you have is you have your noodle, right? You have your float and it comes up and you have your first line, right? So that's line number one. And we're gonna put another one about here. Oh, sorry, about right here. And then at the end of the line, we're gonna put the weight. So I'm not gonna bore you with that. We're gonna come right back once I get all of it on. So give me just one second. Okay, so we have it tied to the noodle. There's lead number one. There's lead number two. And then there's the weights at the end. I, that should be enough weights. It's just to keep it on the bottom. So what that looks like standing up, I mean, I'm trying to not get this all tangled up. Let me stand up and show you. You have your noodle and then you have your, your lead, your pieces that float off the edge like that. Mm -hmm. So that's all we're gonna do for this one. And so basically what we're gonna do for the rest of the project, oh man, it's unraveling. <laughs> we'll get it together, don't worry. And then, so basically what you're gonna do for the rest of them is you're just gonna rinse and repeat. You're gonna do this again. And what we're gonna do is do this method with the monofilament next. So it's the same thing. I'm not gonna bore y'all with the same process over and over and over, but anyway, that's, that's how you make a, that's a quick way to do a catfish jug. It's one way. Um, and if you have a bottle, you just modify it for the bottle. You tie it in the neck around the bottle, so on and so forth. You want, you know, you can make it longer, you can make it shorter, depending on what you're fishing for. In Texas, you can have up to five hooks on one jug line. We're just using two. Wish us luck. We'll see how that goes. If you want to see how we do with them, check out the next video. I'll link it at the end of the description. And yeah, we appreciate you viewing it. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments. Please, catfishermen, don't give me too much hate in the comments. I know it's probably not the way you do it, but it's a way to do it if you're just starting out. And it's the method that we're going to use. So thanks again. Don't forget to smash the subscribe button. I appreciate you being here. Peace.